Good morning guys, out here on the flats again, wade fishing with Ryan. Ryan's down there working the shoreline. I'm out here working this deeper water. I'm trying to find a grass flat or some kind of structure or a deep hole. So he's really looking for the snook and I'm looking for the trout. And we're trying to, you know, kill two birds with one stone and carry, Yeah, Trying to kill two birds with one stone and work as much water as possible. And once again, throwing a deer away cow. So far it's been real slow, haven't had any hits, but we're trying. We're wade fishing Ooh. for probably the sixth time in my entire life. Dude, so we're wade pros by now. Yeah, don't know until you try. So that's why we're out here and trying it. And I'd much rather, I mean, there's a time and place to get guided, but I think learning a fishery on your own is cool. You know, get the basics of it and then, you know, do it for yourself. And if you don't do it successfully, then reach out to someone and try to get some outside advice, but try things for yourself. It's, it's a lot more rewarding learning it by yourself than having someone teach you the ropes in the very beginning. And Ryan hooks his first tree of the day. Good job, bro. So it looks like we hit high tide. You could tell the water lines right where the mangroves, like right at the edge of the mangroves. So I think that's good. I think it's always better to be fishing high tide in this kind of situation than low tide. I feel like fish are closer to the shoreline, which is what we want since we're waiting. Oh, Ryan, trout right here at the edge. Well, I just lost a little baby trout right here at the edge. And I saw some stuff skipping. Oh, there's a bunch of little minnows right here. That's probably what they're eating. I don't know if you got, how well you guys can see on the camera, but there's a lot of little glass minnows right here. So they're, and they're hugging the shoreline, so there's probably trout and stuff pushing them up against here. There we go. Finally. Oh, I pulled off. Well, I did have something right there. Not quite sure what it was, but it looks like this area right here, it looks kind of grassy. It's a really dark shadow. My guess would have been a trout. He didn't like right there, like right in Right in front of you? Right at this I, dock? Yeah. Did you just say lungs? lungs. Do snook have lungs? <laughs> I thought snook had gills. Yeah, that is lungs. Do fish have lungs? Question of the day, comment below. Any of you guys good at fish anatomy? So Ryan finally, Ryan finally broke the uh, dry spell. Yeah, Good job, bro. Oh, see, he's just sucking on my thumb now. Ryan and I's decision to walk to the north side was not a good one, but that point all the way down there, we're gonna take the trail, walk down that way, and then walk the mangrove shoreline back to the truck. So we got some uh, we got cardio some ahead of us. Dude, I just got whacked like right here on the way down. Oh, I got that all on film. Yes. Rod tips down, rod tips down. <laughs> the world's hardest fish to catch. <laughs> hardest hit to least fight. Yes. Oh, he's digging deep. doing the death roll. Now is when a bull shark comes and our Ooh. video goes viral. Balls him right next to us. Oh. Come to me. You dick. <laughs> Dude, they're, they're Broken so GoPros. Like, un like Predictable. Woo. Nice All right, guys, he inhaled it. Definitely the pretty. <laughs> I can't talk, but definitely the prettiest fish out here on the flats for sure. Very cool. Yellow mouth. That fang. That fang is just mean. That fang life. That's how they hold on to their prey. Mm -hmm. They give you a nice little uh, splash goodbye every time. You guys can't see, but me and Ryan have silicone putty literally in every crevice of our GoPro and our mics because these things just splash you like crazy. Ryan and I are headed in. Ryan had the hot hand today. Got one snook, one jack, three trout. I caught a grand total. Oh, he got two snook. I got a whole total of one sea trout and that is it. I guess today there was just too much water, not enough fish. I don't know what was going on. Last time we came here, we did really good. And to put into perspective, that point way down there where I'm holding my raw tip is where we fished 
from where we parked to down there and then we fished all the way back to this north point where we fished last time and we covered a lot of water but they were just not biting today and i don't know but that's fishing you're always learning every time we're done fishing ryan has to pull up to this little creek and make his last oh, three casts oh the mullet's chasing his cow <laughs> well anyways we did not catch much and sorry this video was not very action filled but we tried and this is what real fishing is sometimes a lot of walking a lot of casting not much action but that's how you learn and that's how you get better i had a good day i had a good day too i'm gonna chilling with my bud i'm gonna hit this uh rancho chico up to like you guys are gonna hit that like button hit that like button guys you heard him and if you guys haven't already ryan does has have, have his own youtube channel link will be in the description box below he was probably waiting for me to say that subconsciously but Make sure to sub to him, make sure to sub to me, and hit that like button. Next video will be better, guys, I promise. And look forward to Tackle Tuesday tomorrow, as promised. Later, guys. See ya. Oh, man. I it's a Jewfish that's just not moving.